this is Anastasia Smith of Journey Chanel Designs. Today we will be making the Elena pullover using the yarn Heartland by Lion Brand in the color Grand Canyon. It is a thick four weight yarn or worsted weight yarn. You will also need your size K 6.50 millimeter hook for this project. You will also need a pair of scissors. You will need some stitch markers, and you will need a measuring tape. Let's get started. We will be making the back panel first. You will make a knot. For size large, extra large, 2X and 3X, you will be making 109 chains. Once you're done with those 109 chains, you're going to make a yarn under half double crochet. So you're going to yarn under and go over your hook. You're going to insert your hook in the second chain from your hook. You're going to yarn over your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. You're going to yarn under your hook and hold it in place. Insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over your hook, pull through a loop. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Yarn under half double crochet in the next chain. Yarn under half double crochet in the next chain. And you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last chain. When you finish in your last chain, you should have a total of 109 yarn under half double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain two and turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet in the same first stitch as your beginning chain two. You're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your second to last stitch once you have finished your second to last stitch you are going to make a double crochet two together in the same last stitch yarn over your hook insert your hook into the last stitch yarn over and pull up two loops yarn over again insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through all loops. Now you should have a total of 109 double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to yarn under half double crochet in the same first stitch as your beginning chain one. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under, half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under, half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch. You should have a total of 108 yarn under, half double crochet stitches. You're going to chain two and turn your work. Now you are going to repeat rows two and three four more times for a total of 11 rows for size large. Once you are finished, you are going to finish off and weave in your ends. Once you have completed, you will turn your work over where your row one or foundation chain is. And from the ends working towards the center, you will count 45 stitches for size large through 3X. And you will place a stitch marker in that 45th stitch. And now you will repeat this for the other side. Starting from the edge, working towards the center, you will count 45 stitches and place a stitch marker in the 45th stitch.
Once you have both of your stitch markers, we will begin making your first panel, which would be your front right panel. You will attach your yarn to the far right corner and work towards your first stitch marker. So again, you will attach your yarn to the first stitch farthest to the right. You will chain two and you will make a double crochet in that same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in the stitch just before your first stitch marker. You'll make a double crochet in the second to last stitch. And in the last stitch, you can either make the cluster stitch or a regular double crochet in that stitch marker stitch. For size large through 3x, you're going to have a total of 45 double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to yarn under half double crochet in that same first stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your second to last stitch. Once you have finished all the way across, you're going to yarn under half double crochet in the beginning chain two to make your sides more even. For sizes large through three X, you should have a total of 45 yarn under half double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain two and turn your work and double crochet in the same first stitch. Double crochet stitch in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Now you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last stitch. In your last stitch, you can either do a regular double crochet or your cluster stitch, which is your double crochet two together in the same stitch. You should have a total of 45 double crochet stitches for sizes large through 3x. Now you will repeat rows two and three one more time for a total of five rows. Once you are finished, you're going to finish off and weave in your ends. Now you will be making your front left panel. You're going to start at your stitch marker and work towards the end. You're going to attach your yarn to your second stitch marker. You're going to chain two and make a double crochet in the same stitch. Double crochet in the next 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 stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your second to last stitch. In your last stitch, you can either do a regular double crochet or your double crochet cluster stitch or your double crochet two together. You should have a total of 45 double crochet stitches for sizes large through 3x. Now you will chain one and turn your work. Yarn under half double crochet in the first stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last stitch.
Once you are done, you should have a total of 45 yarn under half double crochet stitches for sizes large through 3x. You're going to chain 2 and turn your work. Double crochet in the same stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your second to last stitch. In your last stitch, you will either make a double crochet or your double crochet cluster stitch. For sizes large through 3x, you should have a total of 45 stitches. Now you're going to repeat rows 2 and 3 one more time for a total of 5 rows. Once you're done with all five rows, we will be connecting them together. So you're going to chain one and yarn under, half double crochet in that same first stitch. Yarn under, half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under, half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under, half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under, half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under, half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last double crochet stitch. Once you have finished in your last double crochet stitch, or chain, beginning chain 2, you will now chain 18 for sizes large through 3x. You will now yarn under half double crochet in the first stitch in the next front panel that you've already created yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch Once you have finished in your last stitch, you should have a total of 108 stitches altogether for sizes large through 3x. You're going to chain 2 and turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet in that same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in the last stitch just before your chain. Once you have finished the last double crochet in the last stitch before your chain, you will then make double crochet stitches in every chain across for a total of 18 chains. Double crochet in the next chain. Double crochet in the next chain. Double crochet in the next chain. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last chain. Once you have finished with your last chain, you're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch 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 and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch Once you have finished in your last stitch, you should have a total of 108 double crochet stitches. Now chain one and turn your work. You're going to yarn under half double crochet in the same stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. 
And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last stitch. Once you have finished in your last stitch, you should have a total of 108 yarn under half double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain two and turn your work and double crochet in the same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last stitch. Once you're done in your last stitch, you should have a total of 108 double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat rows 3 and 4 one more time for a total of 6 rows. After you're done with your repeats, you will now be making the body by connecting the front and back panels together. So you're going to chain 1 and yarn under half double crochet in that same first stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last stitch. Once you have finished in your last stitch, we will now be connecting the two panels together to create your armhole. So now you will be making a yarn under half double crochet stitch in that first stitch of the back panel. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last stitch on the back panel. Once you're done with your last stitch, you are going to connect the back panel to the front panel again, and you're going to slip stitch to your very first stitch that you created on the front panel. You are now done. You should have a total of 216 yarn under half double crochet stitches. You're going to chain two and turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. 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 And you're going to repeat this all the way around, ending in your last stitch. Once you have finished in your last, the second to last stitch, you're going to insert your hook into the same stitch as your beginning chain two and make a double crochet. Now slip stitch to your first double crochet to complete the circle. And you should have a total of 216 double crochet stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way around, ending in your last stitch. Once you have finished in your second to last stitch, you're going to yarn under half double crochet in the same stitch as your beginning chain one. And you're going to slip stitch to your first stitch to finish off the round. You should have a total of 216 yarn under half double crochet stitches. Now chain two and turn your work. You're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch.
double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat this all the way around ending in your second to last stitch Once you have finished in your second to last stitch, you're going to make a double crochet in the same stitch as your beginning chain two. You're going to slip stitch to your first double crochet stitch. You will finish that round. You should have a total of 216 double crochet stitches. Now you're going to repeat rounds three and four four more times for a total of 12 rounds. Once you're finished, you will come back. Once you're done with those 12 rounds, you will repeat round three one more time before continuing on. Once you're finished with the body rounds, you will now be splitting the body into two sections, two bottom panels. So you will count out 108 stitches and place a stitch marker in that 108 stitch from your seam. You will now chain two double crochet in the same stitch double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending just before your first stitch marker once you have finished your last stitch, just before your first stitch marker, you're going to either double crochet or make your double crochet cluster stitch in the same stitch as your first stitch marker. You should have a total of 108 double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to yarn under half double crochet in that same first stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch once you're done you should have a total of 108 yarn under half double crochet stitches you're going to chain two and turn your work now you're going to double crochet in that same first stitch Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch. Once you're done, you should have a total of 108 double crochet stitches. Now you're going to repeat rows 2 and 3 10 more times for a total of 23 rows. Once you're done with those 23 rows, this is what it'll look like. Now we're going to begin your lace. Once you're done, you're going to chain 3, which counts as your first stitch, and you're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch you should have a total of four double crochet stitches now you're going to chain two you're going to skip the next two stitches and make a puff stitch in the next stitch so you're going to yarn over your hook insert your hook into that third stitch yarn over your hook pull up a loop yarn over your hook insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over Insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all loops except for the last one, yarn over again, and pull through all loops. You have made your puff stitch. Now you're going to chain two, you're going to skip two, and you're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. 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 You should have a total of seven double crochet stitches when you are all done. Now, 
once you're done with your seven, you're going to chain two, you're going to skip two, and make a puff stitch in that next stitch. Chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next stitch, and in the next six stitches for a total of seven double crochet. Once you're done, you should have a total of seven double crochet stitches. You're going to chain two. You're going to skip two and make a puff stitch in the next stitch. Chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across until you have eight stitches left. Once you have eight stitches left, you should have just finished off with your last seventh double crochet stitch. So you're going to chain two, skip two, and puff stitch in the next stitch. You're going to chain two, skip two, and double crochet in the last three stitches. Once you're done, you should have a total of nine puff stitches in all. You're going to chain three, which counts as your first stitch, and you're going to turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to chain three. You're going to make a puff stitch in the next puff stitch. You're going to chain one and make a puff stitch in the same stitch. And this will be a puff V stitch. Chain three. You're going to make a double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. And in the next five stitches for a total of six double crochet stitches. Once you're done with your six double crochets, you're going to skip the last stitch and chain three. You're going to puff stitch into the next puff stitch. You're going to chain one and puff stitch in the same stitch, making your puff V stitch. You're going to chain three and double crochet in the next double crochet stitch and in the next five stitches for a total of six double crochet stitches. You will skip the last stitch and chain three. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending just before your last puff stitch. Once you have finished just before your last puff stitch, you're going to chain three and make a puff V stitch in the last puff stitch. 
So again, one puff stitch in the same stitch, chain one, puff stitch in the same stitch. Chain three. Double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. And in the last three stitches. You should have a total of nine puff V stitch sets. Once you're finished, you should chain three, which counts as your first stitch, and you're going to turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to skip the last stitch and chain three. And you're going to make a puff V stitch in the chain one space in between the previous puff V stitch. So again, it's a puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch in the same stitch. And chain three. Double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch across for a total of five double crochet stitches. You will skip your last stitch and chain three and make a puff V stitch in the previous puff V stitch chain one space. Chain three, and double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and in the next three stitches for a total of five double crochet stitches in all. You will skip the last stitch and chain three. You will repeat this all the way across, ending just before your last puff V stitch set. Once you have finished just before your last puff V stitch, you're going to skip your last stitch, chain three, and puff V stitch in the chain one space of your previous puff V stitch set. You're going to chain three, you're going to double crochet in the next double crochet stitch and in the last two stitches. You should have a total of nine puff V stitch sets. You're going to chain three, which counts as your first stitch. And you're going to turn your work. You're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three. And you're going to puff V stitch in the next puff V stitch chain one space. You're going to chain three, and you're going to double crochet in the next double crochet stitch, and in the next 
three stitches for a total of four double crochet in all. You're going to skip the last stitch and chain three. You're going to puff V stitch in the next puff V stitch chain one space. You're going to chain three. And you're going to double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Double crochet stitch in the next three stitches for a total of four double crochet stitches in all. You're going to skip the last stitch and chain three. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending just before your last puff V-stitch set. Once you have finished, you're going to skip the last double crochet, chain 3, and make a puff V-stitch in the next puff V-stitch set in the chain 1 space. Chain three, and double crochet in the next double crochet stitch and in each stitch across for a total of three double crochet. You should have a total of nine puff V stitch sets for this row. Now chain three, which counts as your first double crochet and turn your work. You're going to double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to skip the last stitch and chain three. You're going to make a puff stitch in the chain one space of the puff V stitch from the previous row. You're going to chain one puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. This will be your puff flower. So a total of three puff stitches and two chain ones in the same stitch. Now you're going to chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. You should have a total of three double crochet stitches. Now skip the last stitch and chain three. You're going to make a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. And this completes your puff flower. You're going to chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet stitch and the next two stitches for a total of three double crochet in all. You will repeat this all the way across, ending just before your last puff V stitch set. Once you have finished, you're going to skip your last double crochet and chain three. You're going to make a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space.
chain three. You're going to skip the next double crochet and double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to double crochet in the last stitch and you should have a total of two double crochets. Once you're done, you should have a total of nine puff flower steps. You're going to chain three, which counts as your first stitch, and you're going to turn your work. You're going to double crochet in that next stitch. You're going to chain three. You're going to make a puff V stitch set in the first chain one space. So puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. You're going to chain two and make a puff V stitch in the next chain one space. So puff stitch. chain one and puff stitch in the same chain one space. You should have a total of two puff V stitch sets. You're going to chain three. You're going to double crochet in the next double crochet stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, for a total of two double crochets, you're going to skip the last stitch and chain three. You're going to make a puff V stitch set in the next chain one space. So puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain two, puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain three, and double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. And in the next stitch for a total of two double crochets, skipping the last stitch. And now you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending just before your puff flower set. Once you have finished, you're going to skip the last stitch and chain three. You're going to make a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same stitch. Chain two, puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain three, Double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Double crochet in the last stitch. For a total of two double crochets. You should have nine puff flowers in all. You're going to chain two and turn your work. You're going to double crochet in that same first stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch. And you're going to chain two. You're going to make a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the next chain two space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain two space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain two space.
chain one, puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. And you have now finished your puff flower. You should have a total of two in the first chain one space, three in the chain two space, and two more in the last chain one space. You're going to chain two and double crochet in the next double crochet. You're going to skip that last double crochet and chain two. You're going to puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the next chain two space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain two space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain two space. Chain one, puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one. Puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain two. And double crochet in the next double crochet stitch, skipping the last one. Chain two. And now you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending just before your last puff flower set. You should finish off with one double crochet just before your last puff flower. You're going to skip the last one and chain two, and you're going to make a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain one, puff stitch in the next chain two space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain two space. Chain one, puff stitch in the same chain two space. Chain one, puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one. Puff stitch in the same chain one space. Chain two. And you're going to skip the last stitch and double crochet in the very last stitch. You should have a total of nine puff flower sets. You're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to single crochet in the same first stitch. Chain two. And single crochet in the next puff stitch. You're going to chain three. And single crochet in the next chain one space. Single crochet in the next puff stitch. This will make your pick up. You're going to chain three. Single crochet in the next chain one space. Single crochet in the next puff stitch. Chain three. Single crochet in the next chain one space. Single crochet in the next puff stitch. Chain three. Single crochet in the next chain one space. Single crochet in the next puff stitch. Chain three. 
single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the last puff stitch. By doing this, you should be creating little pickets all over. Now you're going to chain two, single crochet in the double crochet stitch, chain three, and single crochet in the same double crochet stitch. Chain two, single crochet in the next puff stitch, Chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch. Chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three. Single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the last puff stitch. You're going to chain two, single crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Chain three, single crochet in the same double crochet stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending just before your last puff flower set. Once you have finished with the second to last double crochet, you're going to chain two, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three. Single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three. Single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the last puff stitch. Chain two and single crochet in the last double crochet stitch. And that completes this panel. You should have nine sets of pickets. You're going to finish off and weave in your ends. And now we will repeat rows one through 31 for the second bottom panel. You're going to attach your yarn to your second stitch marker, the stitch next to your work stitch. So your first unwork stitch. You're going to chain two. And double crochet in the same stitch. You can take your stitch marker out if you need to. And you're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. 
and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in the stitch just before your seam. When you're done, you should have a total of 108 double crochet stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to yarn under half double crochet in the same first stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn under half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across. Once you've finished, you're going to repeat rows 2 through 31 from the first bottom panel. Once you're finished, you're going to finish off and weave in your ends. We will now be working the small ribbed collar. We will be working in the first row of the back panel, your foundation row, in the center. And you're going to work across the back, down the side, across the front, up the side, and across the back to meet in the center. So you're going to attach your yarn to the center of your back neck hole. You are going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across the back, all the way down the side of the neck, all the way across the front, all the way up the other side of the neck, and across the back, meeting at the center where your first stitch is. Once you have finished, you are going to slip stitch to your first single crochet stitch. Now you will make your ribbing chain, so you're going to chain seven. Now you're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Single crochet in the next chain. Single crochet in the next chain. And you're going to repeat this all the way across for a total of six single crochet stitches. Now once you're done, you're going to work in the base of your neck hole. So you're going to skip the stitch you already worked and you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And you're going to turn your work. Now you're going to back loop only single crochet in your ribbing single crochet stitch, back loop only single crochet in the next stitch, back loop only single crochet in the next stitch, and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in the last stitch just before your final stitch. You're going to make a regular single crochet in that last stitch. So a total of six single crochet in all. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to back loop only single crochet in that same stitch, back loop only single crochet in the next stitch, and each stitch across ending in a total of six back loop only single crochet stitches. You're going to work in the base of your neck again, so you're going to skip the stitch you already worked in and slip stitch into the next base single crochet stitch. Slip stitch into the next base single crochet stitch. And you're going to turn your work. And you're going to back loop only single crochet in the first stitch. Back loop only single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in the stitch just before your last stitch. You're going to make a regular single crochet in that last stitch for a total of six single crochet. You're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to back loop only single crochet in the same stitch. Back loop only 
single crochet in the next stitch and each stitch all the way across for a total of six stitches. You're going to slip stitch to the next base neck single crochet stitch. You're going to slip stitch again into the next base stitch. Now you're going to repeat rows four and five all the way around until you have no stitches left. Once you have no stitches left, you are going to slip stitch to the base of the very first stitch you created, your ribbing stitch. And now you are going to flip it inside out. So the wrong side is facing up and you're going to line up your stitches on the last row you made to the first row that you made, lining up each stitch together. And you're going to single crochet, slip stitch, or sew each stitch together on both the beginning and ending rows. Once you're done, you're going to finish off and weave in your ends. The modeled size is large, extra large, 2X and 3X all combined. You can look at the pattern to determine the best size for you. Each size includes anywhere between 18 and 44 inches of positive ease.